For example 12, we are supposed to find the values of m. If the equation of the tangent to the curve y equals to 1 quarter x squared plus mx plus 2 is y equals to 7m minus mx. Whew, what a mouthful. But what does this really mean? And this means that there is a curve. Okay, now this happens to be a quadratic curve. So it's a smiley face curve because it's got positive x squared. So this smiley face curve, alright? The smallest face curve here has a tangent. Okay, I hope you know what this tangent is all about. What, what, what is the tangent? Tangent is a straight line. Okay, it's a straight line that will touch the curve at only one point. Okay, how the tangent looks like? Well, we don't really know. How I mean, the tangent could look like this, like this. I mean, we don't really know. But what we do know is that if this line, this equation, okay, this line were to be a tangent to this curve, that means to say this line and this curve will only intersect at only one point. One and only one. Okay? Because if it intersects at two points, it won't be a tangent. Alright? And what we know about intersecting at one point? Well, we know that to intersect at one point means there must be only one coordinates. Okay? And in our case here, it means that when we solve the simultaneous equation Okay, we should only get one answer. Okay, one set of uh, coordinates for x and y. And what it means is that there should only be one x value and one y value. Okay, so what we do is, of course, we try to do um, solve the simultaneous equation. Okay, we will try to do substitution. So we substitute in equation one. Okay, we shall call this equation one and call this equation two. So now what we do is, of course, we do substitution method. We substitute equation 1 into equation 2. Okay, and this is what we end up with. 7m minus mx is equal to 1 quarter x squared plus mx plus 2. Right. So what we do next is, of course, we try to shift everything to one side. So we have 1 quarter x squared plus mx plus 2 is, alright, We um, the left hand side, positive m, 7m, positive 7m, we bring over, becomes negative 7m, okay, negative mx, of which we will bring over to, to the right hand side, and that will give us a positive, okay, mx will be equal to 0. Okay, and of course, of course, what we do next is, of course, as usual, we'll try to group all the x with all the x together. So this mx plus mx, this will give me uh, 2mx. Okay, and of course, the constant is obvious. 2 minus 7m is equal to 0. Now, we will arrive here at a quadratic equation. Now, what do we know about this quadratic equation? Well, we know that this quadratic equation, when solved, are supposed to give us only one value of x. That means to say there's only one solution to this quadratic equation. And if a quadratic equation has only one solution, it simply means that the discriminant, the b squared minus 4ac, must be equal to 0. So it becomes very clear what the next step is. So our b is 2m and therefore square it, we get 4m squared minus 4a C. Okay, will be equal to zero because our discriminant will have to be equal to zero. So let us scroll to get a little more space here. All right. So of course, what we do next? I mean, this one quarter and the four will cancel out each other. So we end up with four m square plus seven m minus two will give us a zero. So, of course, what we do next is we'll factorize and we get 4m minus 1, m plus 2 is equal to 0. So, from here, we will know that, let us squeeze in a little bit more space, okay? So, we'll know that our m will be equal to positive 1 quarter or negative 2, okay? And this will be the answer. Now, again, it is important for you to know how to get the answer it is equally important for you to understand what the answer means so what this means here 
is that if your m is equal to one quarter, your b squared minus four ac to this quadratic equation will be equal to zero. And what this implies is the fact that if your m is equal to one quarter, there will be only one solution to this simultaneous equation. And if there's only one solution to this simultaneous equation, it means that there will be only one solution to this pair of simultaneous equation, and therefore, there will be only one intersection point. And this is what the whole question is trying to tell us, is only one intersection point, because this line is a tangent to the curve. Okay? Likewise, when your m is equal to negative 2, well, the same story applies. Okay?